Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for watching Atlanta & Company. I'm Christine Pallara. It's so great to be with you. Well, she is the reason why I still get carded when I go buy some wine. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think I ha they have to card you. I'm actually talking about Dr. Jean Chapman from Laser Med Skin and Vein Clinic. She is my doctor, and from Botox to fillers to laser resurfacing and vein problems, Dr. Chapman specializes in procedures that are meant to make you feel and look beautiful and better than ever. She joins us now to talk about fillers and self fill volumizer. Can't wait to hear about that. Good morning to you. Hi, Kristen. I do like to think I get carded because, you know, your, your great work. Oh, sure. <laughs> absolutely. They ask and I'm like, oh, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> um, it's great to have you back. And in the past, we've talked about veins. We kind of run the gamut of all the different things mm -hmm. that you cover. Um, and, you know, if, but first, let's tell people all the different things you do before we get into the volumizers and all this. Sure. Um, we love to make women look feel uh, and look younger and uh, without a lot of downtime or surgical um, procedures. So a lot of what we do are laser-based and injectable-based. And um, also we do uh, office-based smart lipo, which is a laser-assisted liposuction and also varicose vein surgeries. Okay, terrific. Mm -hmm. And today, we're specifically talking about fillers. And first of all, tell people who are not familiar with that, what are fillers and uh, what are the different kinds that you have in your office? Sure. Um, unfortunately, as time goes on, we tend to lose uh, some of our natural volume in the upper half of the face and tends to sag down and um, for that reason we start to have some thinning in this temple area okay. under the eyes mm -hmm. and cheekbones are also thinning to show more bony figures rather yeah. than the round nice contour so fillers are used to fill those areas as well as people that have really thin lips uh -huh. we could use fillers to plump up the lips as well okay terrific and what kinds are out there um, is this cell fill I I'm not familiar with that one is that a new filler that's been out for or for how long has it been out uh, cell fill has been used in medicine for many many years but it got FDA approval for cosmetic use uh, just two years ago Okay. Uh, we do have other uh, fillers that we've been using. Um, I have been using Restylane Perlane, Juvederm. Sure. Um, now those also, I've heard of, yeah. Yes, a Sculptra, uh, Radius. There are many others out there. Uh, nonetheless, what's different about cell fill is the fact that we actually harvest the material from you. Oh, nice. And we draw blood and actually spin it down and just get what's called PRP, which is plasma. Um, out of that material and inject back to where uh, you need it. Fantastic. And what's the process like? After you go ahead and, and extract from our body, then what do you do? You can, is it the same day? You go ahead and put Absol it in our face? Yes. Cool. Believe it or not, the whole thing only takes about 20 minutes. So you wow. come in and we draw blood, bl blood from you and the processing it takes about five minutes. And then we actually have exactly 10 minutes uh, before it actually start to congeal to inject back into you. And in the meantime, the patients either ice or use uh, numbing cream or whatnot to okay. make it more comfortable. Good. And we go ahead and inject to um, enhance the cheekbones or anywhere you need it. Okay, terrific. Yeah, I, one thing I've noticed too where, you know, we think maybe as we're trying to lose weight and, and oh, we're getting in shape, but I will notice when I'm too skinny, um, before I had Catherine, I'd gotten kind of to, down to one of my, I'd probably say some of my lowest weight, but you look and it, it's really not attractive because you do get that sunken hollow look that, you know, it doesn't really look healthy. We want right. to look healthy and youthful and think about youthful faces. They have a little more fullness to them. Exactly. And, and, and this provides that in a natural way. Right. Okay. And how long does it last? Um, the research specifically geared for the cosmetic use, um, of course, only has been out for a couple years. So that's all the data that we have. Nonetheless, uh, what I've seen in the last two years is that the material uh, does last uh, at least 75% at two-year follow-up. At a two-year follow-up, that's yes. really good. Mm -hmm. And what are people saying about how are they feeling when they leave the office, and then when do they really start to see the results? A week later, a few days later? Because this is a volumizer, which is slightly different fillers. Uh, people actually get confused with that. Fillers, you instantly get filled, and when you leave, you get all the results you're gonna have. Uh, whereas volumizers, we inject you, but it actually stimulates your collagen production over the following 
um, four to six months, but you start to notice some results as early as two weeks. Great. On the it, average, about six weeks out. Okay, so it's a little bit of a slower effect, which I would think is a good thing because it looks more natural. Exactly. Okay. You start to notice uh, results in people uh, somewhat forget what you used to look like. And a <laughs> right. lot of times, when they come back and we see the photos, they go, wow, that is amazing difference. And let me ask our director, Kevin, because I, I think he put up a photo, but I was so busy talking to you. I, I think you have a before and an after of one of our patients who had uh, the filler done there. So talk to me about what we're seeing. Um, what we uh, have done is uh, sort of volumize or add some more contour under the eyes, the cheekbone area, um, as well as what's called nasolabial folds, the right. smile lines. Right. And we typically add some in this area right uh, on either side of the chin, which is called pre-jowl sulcus. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. I got some jowls going. It's not good. I can, <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel gravity taking hold. And really quickly, because we have, a, I think, a little bit of time left, I want to ask you about you know, your typical fillers, your Botox, and, and that for people who are interested in that, you do that as well. Sure. The fillers, what's so nice about them is that they have really long history of safety sure. and great efficacy. So the track record uh, pe make people at ease and a lot of times for instant results, right. um, you could get that. Typically they last anywhere from six to 12 months. So, um, you know, it's a nice instant enhancer. Right. Uh, these are typically used for eyes and below. Okay. Uh, people ask, when do you use Botox, when do you use fillers? Botox is really uh, treating the muscles that create dynamic lines. Sure. So a lot of times lines that are exaggerated when you move your muscles, sure. that's what Botox is going to be helpful. Now, Botox isn't going to add any volume or fill in the lines or right. wrinkles. It's just going to so smooth that, them out. Exactly. So that is what the fillers and volumizers are used for. The cell fill will then come in and volumize it, right? Exactly. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's always great having you here.